Well, let me tell you, I wrote those names down as fast as <coughs> my little fingers would let me. Calvin Castine at Northeastern Middle School. It's Crystal Club Tournament, Peru, and Moore's Magic. <laughs> As we go through the fingertips. <laughs> Let's see, for Moore's, that was the Brin Sample was <coughs> 48. I'll just go through the names and <coughs> worry about which ones are on the floor later. Oh, there's a shot by number 20, that's Musso. Let's see, for Moore's, it's Brin Sample, 48. <coughs> Olivia Gagno, 40. Uh, Leona Turner, 16. Marley Sample, 14. Katira Pupor, 11. Ashley Monette, 10. Alicia Goodrill, 7. And Abby Racine, number 1. Uh, I haven't seen that long ago. I was watching both of her Racine's parents <laughs> play youth basketball. There's a shot by Musso. Uh, let's see, referees are Scott Brown and Dale Menard. Uh, this is Monette. Uh, we have traveling called. There's 15 minute halves, pretty much running time. Quick President's uh, Weekend, President's Day Weekend. They, uh, St. Mary's used to have a huge tournament with non stop basketball. They have an advantage here that uh, they have two gymnasiums, so uh, they're filling it up both days. For Peru, Sarbo is one, Hunter five, Cutter is seven, Keith eleven, Dorst fourteen, Witt fifteen, Musso twenty, Rock twenty one, McCoy twenty two, Beatty twenty three, McCarthy twenty four. Twelve sixteen on the clock, Peru leads at the moment. This is the second of the five games that we intend to do today. Seven degrees when I arrive for the nine o'clock game. With a steady win. Olivia Gagno with the basket. And it's 2 2. LaFountain and Gagno are the coaches for for the excuse me uh, Racine and, <laughs> and La Fountain. Excuse me, Racine and Gagno are the coaches for uh, for uh, Moores. There's another Moores team. We'll try to get them later in the day. <coughs> this is Rock. She'll bring it up. So who's running the restaurant today, huh? And that's a foul. And that'll send this young lady to the line. I think it's Monette.
then hit the rim. Oh, <clears throat> Rockwell inbound to Beatty. with a hole, that'd be Wick. Top keeps ticking unless there's going to be a foul shot. They got 14 and 11 in for the Morris team. 11 is Pupo, 14 is Marley Sample. <coughs> and Katira Pupo. Rudolph, five seconds to get it in. Shot it up. I believe that was Olivia. <coughs> oh, oh, Olivia. Daniel. <laughs> Missile scores. But now. They're saying it's 6-2. Uh, Chuck's changing that scoreboard. Now it's 4-4. Four, four. Travel. Traveling card. Inbounded by Sample. Another a thousand, Mickey LaFountain, a thousand point scorer here at Northeastern. And her father, Alan Racine Jr., we uh, started recording him as a ball player when he was in third grade. Mitchell that was coaching a third and fourth grade team. My son Justin is on the fourth grade team. And a little left handed Alan Racine was out there. Pupor to inbound. Taken away by Musso. Rock will bring it up. We're at eight minutes here for four ball game. Here, we're seen out, and Leona Turner is in. I knew Leona Turner. She was a very nice lady who always reminded me of Lauren Bacall. Lived on White Avenue in Ralph's Point. Four for the score, 7.38 on the game clock. There must be somebody stepped across the line or something.
it will be blue ball. Morris will bring it up. Ganyo gets instructions from, uh, from her dad. <coughs> Turn around the high post. Oop, blue ball. Blue turn. Blue turn on the jump bell. 6.33 and counting. Ball inbounded to Pupor. And Turner rebounds and she's blocked. It's a jump ball. There's a the clock. 6.15, counting down, 4-4. Four, four. In the first half. There are two divisions for the boys, two divisions for the girls. Uh, top four teams will go to the semifinals in each. And there'll be a finals. There's Ganyo. Olivia Ganyo with another bucket. Got this guy all excited here. He must be an Olivia Gagno fan, huh? <laughs> A proud grandfather. Five minutes to go, first half. Time is ticking. Lugano. And this is who is that? Uh, 14 of uh, Molly Sample. And a foul. A foul on Gagno. <coughs> well, time stops at 3.23. And Emily Rock at the line. I'll have the last names for the Peru team, but the fans are calling her Emily, so we will see. Put the team up. Six Peru. Last touch by Blue. And we got one. Uh, Abby Racine is back in. We see seven. Uh, Alicia Goodrow is in. Who else? Uh, ten just came back in. Ashley Monette. And of course, 48 Bryn Sample is there. The two samples on this Morris team. Musso. 
Gives the team a big 10-6 lead here with 2.57 to go in the first half. The team with Daniel before the shot. Before the shot. Before the shot. Out of bounds. Clock keeps not clock stop. Seen to inbound it. Seven good row. So 10-8, 226. Showing in the first half. Who turn it over? Nope. Good hustle. Kept it in play. Who will keep it? Jump ball. Jim Armstrong in the crowd. We uh, had the pleasure of him renewing uh, him he and Lynn's uh, viewer support, our hometown cable. Armstrong's faithful supporters. That's what keeps us going is viewer support. And uh, we're not paid to be here, folks. <coughs> this is a Sunday. <coughs> it's colder than heck outside. I uh, have to talk myself into coming here. We're here, we're covering this, but the uh, only support we get, the only support we get for what we do seven days a week is viewer support and a little bit of advertising. Oh, it could be anything, offensive. She kind of tripped at the last moment and stumbled into the defender, otherwise it would have went the other way, but she kind of fell into her. 1.10 on the clock. Daniel brings it up. Still 1.10 on the clock. Now we're down to 109. <laughs> Who we got there? We'll have to find out who's pushing those buttons there. Let's see. Not Nate, he's keeping the buck. Uh, is it her? No, it's Miranda. Or is it Nate? Is Nate got the clock here? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Who to blame? Blue ball, says Dale Menard. Thirty seconds. Two pointer would tie it up. Oh, in and out on the shot. Fifteen seconds. Out of bounds. Clock keeps ticking. Seven seconds. Four seconds. Daniel at the buzzer. Real leads at the half here on viewer supported hometown cable. Reporter <laughs> <laughs> Daniel to start the second half. Daniel tries it. Does 10 10. Rock will bring it up. Beatty to Musso. Rebound controlled by Sample. Four 
Coach is John Hill. Olivia Daniel with a three pointer. Now 13 10, Moore's. Moore's magic. Maybe a long shot by Musso. Rebounded by Goodrow. And Daniel will bring it up. Traveling call. Now Beatty has it. With a Musso. Goes low to Keith. And we have a jump ball. Beatty inbound. Basket by Keith. And it's 13 12 now. A one point lead for Moore. And then take it away. Ball goes off the fingers of Keith. And a steal by uh, 15 at Witt. Witt again, and two foul. Shooting two. Sean. Second half. Zappa will bring it up. Daniel. Nice to go low. The foul line. Try to stay too high. We'll have a jump ball. Should be Cruz's turn. No? Guess I keep missing the blue, uh, the uh, blue <laughs> jump balls. It's a sample. And then Rock brings it up. Traveling call. White ball. Ten thirty eight and counting. Thirteen thirteen the score. Looks like Musso will be shooting. And that's at least three on Ganyo. At least three on Ganyo, so she's if she's out. Mars will be in big, big trouble.
buzzer works. So now 14-13. I haven't put the score up on the scoreboard yet. Now it should be 15-13. I only saw one, but it's 15. Blue is minus a point here. Gagno to uh, Sampo. Sampo gets it back, goes back to Gagno. Which side of the backboard. The white ball. Now it says 15-13. And we are at the 10 minute mark. 10 minutes to go in the ball game. Sample. And Dugano. And 48 is Brin Sample. 14 is Marley Sample. Clock. And a sub. McCarthy in. <clears throat> and we got Turner and Racine in. Sample. Sample to inbound. No shot clock, obviously. <laughs> I, know I know you want big targets, but I don't think I'd get the smallest girl to inbound the ball. Put up by Whip, 
rebound. Six twelve left in the game. We now lead by four. And the basket by Musso to make it 17-13. And we're at the six minute mark. Seen to sample. by Whip. It's a six-point lead now. This is a sample to Gagno from the elbow short. It looks like it's off, uh, off white. And we got Kupor coming in. And we got 22... McCoy coming in. 5.16 on the clock. Threw up by four. No defense in the backcourt. No, by six. That's right, six, 19 to 13. The sample. The Pupor taken away by the Indians. Was on the line. <laughs> Sample into Pupor. Looks like Ganyo is resting. And we're seeing hit. 19 to 15, 417 to go. Grew up by four. Uh, sample brings it up. This tournament you're allowed to play zone, obviously. Both teams are playing zone. Blue ball. Three and a half to go. So a four point lead, Peru. Sample brings it up. Back to sample. And this is sample to sample. Outside. And downtown. Sample to rebound. And taken away by Keith. 2.40 to go. The full court pressure very shortly. Now boost by Pupor. Keith gets it back. Throws it up. And be off the toe of Pupor. Two and a half to go. And we got uh, Goodrow and Gagno back in. And also scrolling in is Monette. 218 remaining, a four point ball game. In and out. But Peru will keep it. Peru definitely a size advantage. That's this Morris team. <laughs> they got another rebound. 
Lugano. Out of bounds. Rock for the ball. about seal it. Witt scores to give it a six point lead with a minute and a half remaining. Well, just about seal it for Peru. Daniel going to get the shot off. And now they Peru timeout. Sub timeout. Timeout is still a timeout. Sub timeout is still a timeout. So the guy calling it only wants to put subs in, that's fine. But if the other guy wants to talk to his team, he can. All right, we got uh, number one, Sarbo here. The Musso to Hunter. Air ball. We're going to whip. We're going to have a foul. 57.5. Yep, we're going to put the little kid on the block to inbound it. <laughs> he gets it in. 54 seconds. Daniel had to foul. That's her fourth. They don't shoot a one and one until tenth foul in this tournament. So it's tough to stop the clock and get the other team to the foul line. Clock loose. And by Cooper, knocked loose by a good row. The four point game, full court press. <laughs> 32 seconds, dribble out of bounds. <laughs> 31 seconds. We're not pressing. <laughs> off blue, off, off white, excuse me, blue ball. 22.3 seconds. And Chris Daniel is going to call a timeout. Have to clear those guys out of there. Daniel, short. Blocking foul on Gano, she's out. Uh, Olivia Gano was fouled out. And oh, the player went down, tripping over her, Hunter. Well, both teams substitute. 14.9 remaining. Four point per lead. Of Indians keep it. The scene almost had to steal. Four seconds. And Pooh's going to take this one by a 21 17 margin. The Pooh Indians defeat the Moore's Magic. And that's the way it was in the Booster Club tournament play at the Northeastern Clinton Central School Middle School Gymnasium on this. Sunday, the 17th day of February 2013. You're watching viewer-supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable. It's like this Champlain boys team can't wait to 
to move in here. Wait till the girls shake hands on these guys. Thanks for watching.